Irma continues its northwesterly push right now. The center of Irma is very close to the Florida and Georgia state line, about 70 miles due east of Tallahassee. Right now, winds in the center storm are still maxing out at 65 miles per hour, but not concerned about the winds this afternoon. It's the very heavy rainfall along central and south Georgia, and also the storm surge along coastal northern portions of Florida through Georgia and on into South Carolina. This storm is starting to bring in some drier air and cooler air into the storm. So as it works its way to the northwest and heads up towards Columbus, Georgia, I do expect it to weaken down to a tropical depression. Still, very heavy rainfall is likely across the southeastern portions of the U.S. until most likely late Tuesday night and onto Wednesday when finally the storm dissipates and just becomes a subtropical low. The types of storms that we track here in the Susquehanna Valley. In addition to Irma, we're still keeping an eye on Jose. It is a category two hurricane. It's moving off to the north at nine. It's battling high pressure north of the northern extent of the storm, so it's just going to sit and rotate and in the general area just to the east of the Bahamas as a hurricane. Well, this storm poses no direct threat to the United States at this time, but notice by the time we head into Saturday, it starts to push back towards the east, back towards the Bahamas as a category uh, one hurricane. So plenty of time to watch the storm, but something we are going to have to keep a very close eye on. Back closer to home in the Susquehanna Valley, whenever you have high pressure not far away from a tropical storm system, you get beautiful blue skies, and that's what we've got outside right now over Lancaster. It is going to be pleasant day today across the valley. Right now, temperatures are at 68 degrees in Lancaster, and those dew points I'm feeling fine down to the 50s. So through the day today, lots of sunshine. We'll start to see some high clouds because of Irma. Uh, later this evening, temperatures will rise into the 70s for our highs. Lows tonight will be in the low to mid 50s under partly cloudy skies. I think tomorrow remains dry because Irma has slowed up its speed. It's going to remain comfortable. Temperatures will be in the low to mid 70s. Right now, the lunch hour at 69 in Harrisburg, 70 if you're watching is in Gettysburg, and 68 at this hour in Carlisle. Notice how comfortable it is across the Commonwealth as temperatures are in the 60s to lower 70s. Bradford started this morning just above freezing, so high pressure is sitting firmly in place overhead. Notice here on the predictor, the clouds do, to try, do try to move in from the south as we head through the day today and on into tomorrow. May start to see some weak outer rain bands from Irma as we head through the day on Wednesday. As of right now, it looks like it is going to be relatively light in intensity. No day ahead in the next seven days looks like it's going to be a washout, but certainly it's going to be unsettled. Temperatures will hold in the mid 70s. Scattered showers in the on and off fashion will continue on into Thursday, Friday and into Saturday. So plenty of time to watch Jose out in the open waters of the Atlantic for us here in the Susquehanna Valley. It's just going to be a nuisance rain. Some Times on and off showers starting on Wednesday, possibly lingering on into the weekend ahead. Average highs for this time of the year are in the upper 70s. We're staying below that for much of the week ahead. Mm, boy, it's an active season out there. Isn't it is. It? All right. Thank you, Ethan.